Hi there, I'm Sandy Alnock, Bible Journaling Made Simple author and YouTuber, and today I'm going to share a beautiful page with you as well as an encouraging word from Isaiah. When you pass through the waters, I will be with you, and through the rivers, they shall not overwhelm you. When you walk through fire, you shall not be burned, and the flame shall not consume you. I'll be showing you how to paint this in my Bible Journaling Made Simple workbook. I've already done it in my Bible. And I'm going to use the back pages. There's a whole section in the back with blank pages. And you can see some of the other ones that I have in here that I've played with. But the book is full of other images, too, that you can color in. And there's lots of space for journaling. And then there's another panda bear that I did from another video in the past. You may recognize some of these pages. So there's plenty in here that works both with the main book as well as things that you could just create in here and, and have fun with. And I'm going to just use my watercolors. This is my Daniel Smith watercolor palette. You can use any watercolors to do this. Splooged a little on my page and just wiped it off because this is a practice page. I've already done it in my Bible, but I wanted to be able to show it to you. I wasn't expecting it to turn out as beautiful as it did, but I thought, oh, somebody's going to want to see how to do this because it's not hard. But the verse that I chose for this, one of the reasons that it's been in my mind quite a bit is that I've been going through stuff. I've talked about that recently in some recent videos. Uh, losing a friend, uh, status of the book still up in the air. Just lots of things going on that I have questions for God about. <laughs> I'm not really sure where things are headed in so many areas. And this passage came to mind because of God's promise that he will be with me. But the part that struck me when I went back to really read the words and look at every single word in it was that, that I will pass through it. When you pass through the waters, you pass through the fire. And I thought, wait a minute. He says, I'm going to pass through it. I'm not stuck here. Not that I thought for sure that I was stuck here, but there's part of me that just needed to hear that, He's with me while I'm passing through this, while I'm in this transition phase, and I'm going through this thing. And I want to tell you as well, whatever you're going through, you'll pass through it too. Because we're in this place right now does not mean that's where we're going to be forever. It just means that's the season we're in at the moment. So be encouraged that this too shall end, and you too are going to pass through it. I can't wait to get to the other side because sometimes being here is not fun. So I have painted the left side with the sand color and the right side with this bluish greenish kind of color. Added more blue to it because I wasn't happy with quite as much green as I had mixed and painting a, an area in the middle that's going to be white. That's going to be the white foam. And I'm kind of making my left edge of that a little bit on the dainty side with all kinds of little doodly bits. Not really sure what you would call that, but I want to leave that strip in the middle for the foam and create the detail around either side of the foam using the, the two blocks on either side, the teal block for the water and the brown block for the sand. And the place where I got this image in my mind was after I had read that verse and was so encouraged about the passing through. And I was thinking fire at the time, but I opened my iPad and noticed, I see this thing all the time, that my screensaver page or my, my desktop page for that is kind of this photograph. It's water cascading onto the land. And I thought that would be the perfect example of the passing through because when you pass through something there's a place where it starts and there's a place where it ends oceans have the the place where the water laps on the shore on one side of the ocean and then on the other side of the ocean and then you have all that area in the middle and i'm just going to document right here for myself one edge of that it, this could be the leading edge in which you're entering into the waters and into that bad place, that hard place, but know that God's with you in it. It could be, oh my gosh, I'm coming to the outside edge of it. And you could use this kind of an imagery for either one. If you're just praising God for having brought you through the waters, then you could use this on a, a verse like that. Or 
in the, oh my goodness, here we go. I'm, I'm going through it right now. So what I did was use a baby wipe to dab off some of the extra paint that was collecting in little puddles. Because when you're working with Bible paper, it gets a little wrinkly and the paper kind of wriggles and wrinkles just a little bit. And some of that paint will collect. And wiping it off just a very light dab with a baby wipe can soften some of that so it dries a little bit flatter, I guess, a little more evenly. And I'm adding another layer of color. You can leave the first layer. If you're happy with how dark or light that is, by all means, leave that. But I'm going to add a couple of layers of color just to show you how you can enrich the color and enrich your painting by adding layers and layers. You could mix the, the really, really dark color right away and get it done faster, I suppose. But what I find is that I get an interesting layer of colors and an interesting development of colors if I do it little by little as opposed to all at once with one big heavy dark color. Because if I use one big heavy dark color I'm and I somehow screw something up, then it's a lot harder to fix. Whereas when I'm using light colors I can I can create a little bit more interest and I can wipe things off easier, etc. So I'm going back into the foam area and adding just some of the areas with another layer of darker paint. Not all of them, but some of them. Because I noticed in the photograph, and you can Google the, you know, the shores of the ocean or the sea foam or something and see that for yourself and see what it looks like. There's multiple layers of different colors of brown as it, the water is thicker or thinner or the foam is thicker or thinner. And the place where the foam goes from seeing the brown sand underneath to turning into seeing the blue water, depends on how, how deep the water is, is a subtle change. So doing this while it's wet allows the blue to mix with the brown and create a little softer edge in between the two of them. And you can decide if you want your water to be more blue, more green, more one color or the other and push that one direction or the other in different layers. So maybe your under layer will have more green in it and your layer on top is going to have more blue in it. But you're going to allow some spaces for that color underneath to show up through the layers on the top. So now that you've seen that adding more color makes a difference, watch how much whiteness pops out of the edge of the foam when I add a really dark color now. I'm really mixing in a nice heavy color, but I'm not outlining it. I'm just doing it in parts of the areas around the foam, not every single, I, I'm not just putting one solid line there. And then in some areas it's going to be wider, and then in some areas it's going to be thinner. And you can dab at it a little bit with the baby wipe in order to create some texture along there as well. And just kind of have some fun with it and play with it. In the page that I created in my Bible, I did the text in black on the left hand side and put the foam right around the verse that I was using and pass. I put an asterisk and then wrote a little note reminding myself of what my thoughts were about that word pass so that I don't forget that message. The foam you can see right across the verse and then the water coming across here. I could have done the water in the upper right hand side and the sand in the left. You can go either direction, whatever way you want to do with your Bible. So I hope this will be something helpful that you can try next time you're doing your Bible journaling. Maybe there's a time in your life when you pass through things that you want to document that in your Bible when God brought you through and he walked with you through it. Thank you so much for joining me. Hit that like button, share it with your friends, and I'll see you again next week. Take care.